Hey guys, it's the Coronator here, and I've got some more YouTube advice for my fellow content creators out there. Now today guys, I'm going to be talking about setting realistic goals on YouTube as it is very important to do so, which you guys may not have even considered, maybe you have, but for those of you that haven't really thought about setting your own goals on YouTube, or at the very least making them realistic, then this is what this video is about today. So that being said guys, let's get into this. So... What do I mean by setting realistic goals on YouTube? Well, they're realistic. That means they are achievable, that you can achieve them in, I guess, a set amount of time which you decide, and that they certainly are not impossible to achieve. Just to give you guys an example so you can kind of get where I'm going with this in case that definition didn't really make sense to you. I'm currently at 1,000 subscribers, or 1,050 subscribers to be specific, and I've been on YouTube for about a year and six months with this channel. That's how long I've been making videos on this channel for, so I think it's about time to set myself a new goal of where I want to go now that we have finally hit the big four digits was an awesome awesome milestone to have hit which we uh, did hit very recently if in case you're new to the channel here now I th i'd say a realistic goal for me the next step in the road would be 2000 subscribers now of course we've got to put a date on that when do we want to achieve that by originally when i was kind of thinking about what i wanted to say for this video i was thinking mm, maybe in like a year's time so next november but then I was thinking a bit more, I was like, no, that, that is, that, of course, that's realistic. I could definitely achieve that. But I think we could do better than that, guys. I'm thinking we can hit 2,000 subscribers, so 950 more subscribers to the channel by my year two anniversary. And for those of you who don't know, I made this channel on June 1st. 2014 so that it would be June 1st 2016 so in about six seven months time let's say seven months time uh, to hit reach 2,000 subscribers I, I'd say that's very realistic it was very possible considering the how the rate of growth of this channel has gone up the amount of support you guys are giving me uh, good stuff I'd say that's a very realistic goal now I'll give you guys an example of an unrealistic goal for myself so of course, like I said, I am at 1,050 subscribers. An unrealistic goal would be to go, hmm, I don't know. I want to achieve 100,000 subscribers by the end of 2016. I'm at 1,000. That would be 99,000 more subscribers in, what, 2016? So, yeah, like a year. Like, that is, that's not a realistic goal, guys. I understand that. That's highly, highly unlikely that I would ever achieve that, especially in that short duration of time. So please do consider that yourself. Uh, let's say you're on, I don't know, you're on 100 subscribers and you've been doing YouTube for about six months. You upload fairly consistently, you know, a few videos a week and stuff like that. Maybe a realistic goal would be to reach 300 subscribers uh, in the next six months. So you gain an additional 200. So of course, guys, as you get bigger on YouTube, this is one thing to keep in mind. The, the growth rate usually increases, okay? If you're still working hard, if you're still uploading consistently, and you're not giving up on your audience and on your channel and with making videos, then the rate of growth should technically increase. As more and more people see your channel, you get more views and, I guess, more support on the video. So likes, comments, maybe even shares. That pushes the video higher up in the search rankings. And then technically, you know, that will just kind of keep rolling and the ball will keep spinning faster in a sense. So, yeah, guys, that's pretty much setting realistic goals on YouTube. It's especially important for, like, me, example, or for any of you guys to really like think it's possible to get like a million subscribers or something like that yeah it's possible but it's not a realistic goal to set of course it's cool to have dreams it's great to have dreams and aspirations for the future and you know that that would just be like awesome to hit one day but i'm not counting on that i don't expect to hit that anytime soon or even at all to be perfectly honest um i, I think that's pretty much impossible for me at the moment in this case but it's something nice to consider, but it's very important to, you know, realize that that is not a realistic goal to set yourself. Now, it's very important, guys, as well, that, that you remember that success is, one, unpredictable, and two, not guaranteed on YouTube. I kind of mentioned this last week in the video talking about whether success is predictable on YouTube or not and all that kind of stuff. It really isn't. In such a saturated place such as YouTube, there's a lot of competition. There's a lot of people trying to compete for the limited attention of the YouTube audience. Uh, and only so many people can make it, okay, guys? So it really isn't a definite that you will... That your, that your channel will blow up or will grow massively or anything like that. But then, of course... 
everyone has a different perception of what success is. It all depends, right? So, let's say you want to reach a thousand subscribers. That's very realistic. That is a very realistic goal. You could become successful if that's your definition of success. Um, if you want to do YouTube full time, for example, one that's very important that you don't go into doing YouTube thinking that you want to do it full time. It's important to do it as a hobby first and foremost and if it gets to that point then maybe consider doing it full time if you go into youtube looking at that like i need to make this a separate video because it's quite a big topic that i want to talk about but just to inform you guys of where i'm coming from here you know that's very hard to do so that that is that's certainly not guaranteed to work out for you so definitely don't go into youtube doing that all that kind of stuff so yeah guys set realistic goals please if you do need help setting realistic goals let me know down in the comments and i'll try help you guys out Try looking at your YouTube analytics. I study mine quite a lot, probably kind of religiously in a way. I do like looking at them and seeing how like trends go and stuff like that. I find that quite interesting and such like that. And you know, what video is more popular and stuff like that. That could be a great way to find out, you know, the kind of rate of growth you're growing at, at the moment, where you're kind of at is a whole with like your subscriber count and your view count and stuff like that and uh, you know all these other factors like how many times you upload a week and if you're consistent or not and such like that that can all cater into your own goals guys but yeah it's gonna be different for everybody obviously but you know just like try set realistic goals make sure they're possible try take small steps I think that'll help try, like set small goals and then when you hit them that could even lead up to a bigger goal so you could say okay by like i said by my year two anniversary in about seven months time i'd like to reach 2,000 subscribers and then by my year three anniversary i'd like to have hit 5,000 subscribers and stuff like that and you can keep kind of staggering it like that little checkpoints along the way that also stop you guys from hopefully being disappointed if you don't get there if they're only small steps then it won't matter as much as you know realizing eventually that success isn't guaranteed on youtube and that you may not get to that big milestone that you always wanted to uh so that that can kind of help with that as well and finally guys just want to wrap up by saying talking about your goals may actually help like i do this in channel updates occasionally not as much as i used to because i don't like talking about numbers too much even though i, I still do I, I try not to you know talk about it too much uh, in its extent um but yeah actually just saying your goals out loud every so often uh well one will help you realize them if you don't actually know what they are just talking about where you're at at the moment and you know possibilities of where you like to be in the future with your channel that can help you just realize you know setting realistic goals which goals you want to set yourself uh and it can also just help you inspire to hit them just by talking them out loud is surprisingly helpful and it can kind of encourage you to just go after them more and of course it will also let your audience know how big or small i'm sure they're interested the ones that are really loyal and active and want to support you that they want to know where you want to be and even then they may decide to help you even further and and try help you reach that deadline of when you want to reach that mile so anyway guys that is pretty much it for today about setting realistic goals on youtube i know a lot of you guys wanted the video where I talk about how I kind of make all my videos and the, like the whole YouTube process I go through. They'll be coming next week. However, Fallout 4 did come out today, so I wanted to make a slightly shorter video and, you know, just start playing Fallout 4 pretty much. So I do apologize for that, but that will be coming next week. So make sure you're subscribing to the channel for that one. That being said, guys, thank you so much for watching. And of course, I'll see you guys next time. Logic with the Gornet. Anyway. And of course, we have a mirror at the end of my bed so I can watch myself masturbate and some conveniently placed tissues. Anyway, let's actually move on to the proper setup, guys. Enough waffling on and wasting your time. So here we go. This is the bad boy. Let's